Yo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Dude, I actually can't believe what I'm seeing right now. You know, like, I know it's real. It's right there in front of me. But I can't believe it. <laughs> this is crazy. This is absolutely insane. Um, about 15 minutes ago, the official Dokkan Twitter page, the JP1, posted this. And, guys, apparently, the Int Ultra Instinct Goku, the category lead one, it's getting an Extreme Z Awakening. Like, this is real life, man. This is actually happening. And I don't believe it. I don't believe it. We're still on the 120% lead EZAs, and we're actually going to be getting a category lead EZA in the middle? I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. I mean, of course, Ultra Instinct Goku makes a lot of sense for the celebration. It's just I didn't expect category lead EZA so soon, man. Like, in my mind, we were still at least 6 to 12 months away. Um, and I thought that if we were going to get category lead EZAs, it would be in order, right? Like, starting with the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and the Fizz Omega Shenron, and so on and so forth, like STR Ultimate Gohan, Int, Angel Golden Frieza. Yo, maybe Angel Golden Frieza is also going to be getting his Extreme Z Awakening at some point during the celebration. I mean, anything's possible now. Right? Like, with this, anything is possible. Yo, this is insane. I don't even know what to say at this point, man. Like, nobody saw this coming. Nobody saw this coming. And if you did, then I'ma call you a liar, man, because this is completely out of left field like what what a category lead extreme z awakening is happening right now i mean not like right now but like very soon right in part two of the sixth anniversary on jp wow wow okay you know what um <laughs> i could do this for like an hour um it's gonna take me a while to actually accept this as reality but um, let's check out the details, because obviously I can't read Japanese, so let's pop over to Goresh's page, where he has so kindly provided us with the translations for what this says, right? So, the leader skill for the UI Goku is going to be Realm of Gods category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 160%, or int types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 100%. Now, of course, this is compared to his current leader skill, which is... Realm of Gods category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 150%, or Int types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50%. His new passive is going to be attack and defense plus 150%, awaken when HP is 50% or below, compared to his current passive, which is attack and defense plus 100%, awaken when HP is 50% or below. So a 50% boost to attack and defense here. I wish the HP restriction was better. I wish it was like, you know, 70%, 60%, something like that. But, uh, I mean, I can't really complain, let's be honest. And uh, finally, his new super attack will raise attack and defense and causes immense damage. So this guy is going to be an attack and defense stacker now compared to only an attack stacker before. So... Um, any defense issues that he had in the past, I mean, for longer events at least, he's not going to have those issues anymore. And uh, in terms of the mastered Ultra Instinct Goku transformation, that's going to be different as well, but we don't have any details about what that's going to look like at this point in time. I'm going to assume that uh, he's also going to be stacking attack and defense here, or maybe he's going to be greatly raising attack, no extra defense, and then for the passive, they gotta give him the ability to at least tank a little bit if the dodge chance doesn't go off, right? So, um, yeah guys, Hint Ultra Instinct Goku, the first category lead, Extreme Z Awakening, officially coming to JP for part two of the anniversary. I can't believe I'm saying these words, man. This is just crazy. This is just crazy. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about it. Uh, where were you when the news broke that NTY Goku was getting an easy A? And uh, of course, stay tuned for more details in the future as uh, we get those details from either Bandai or just through the data downloads or whatever. But that's all we know at this point in time. The leader skill, 
the passive, and also the super attack for the, you know, pre-transformation, and that's it. Now on top of that, we did learn a few other things that are coming for part two. Uh, mostly stuff we already knew about though, big shout out to Air Dokkan for posting this. So uh, of course, the Krillin and 18 are going to be getting a Dokkan Awakening to their TUR form, as well as the Roshi and Tien also getting a Dokkan Awakening. And we're also going to be getting a Dokkan Awakening for the free to play Fizz Ultra Instinct Goku. This art, man, that is beautiful. Um, I'm pretty sure we don't have any details about what this guy or uh, these two awakenings actually do right now, but I'm sure we'll find out very soon. And uh, finally, there's going to be a new support memory featuring Android 17 and 18. And I also heard, I'm not sure about this, but apparently there's also going to be a new stage of Infinite Dragon Ball history. And uh, in that case, I'm assuming it's going to feature a bunch of, you know, Universe 7 um, representative units, right? So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all the news for today. I mean, this stuff is cool. It's nice and all. But let's be honest, man. <laughs> this is the big news. Int Ultra Instinct Goku. Extreme Z Awakening. It's really happening, guys. It's really happening. I can't believe it. It's probably going to take me a while to truly accept it but it's actually happening. So there you go, guys. Uh, I'm gonna go to bed. I'm gonna wake up in the morning and see if this was all like a crazy dream or something like that. But for now, as far as I know, this is real, unless it's some kind of out of season, you know, April Fool's joke from Bandai. But this was posted to the official Bandai Twitter page. So it's most likely legit. <laughs> no, it's definitely legit, it's happening. It's happening. And uh, that's all I gotta say, man. I gotta go process this. Oh, one last thing before I forget. A big shout out to Luka Dokkan for this. Um, the UI Goku, when fully Extreme Z Awakened, will have max stats of 20,280 attack, 12,723 defense, and 18,551 HP. Those are basically LR stats, man. Holy crap. Uh, once again, let me know in the comments down below what your initial reaction to this is. Um, who do you think the next category lead to get an Extreme Z Awakening after UI Goku is going to be? I mean, I think that Angel Golden Frieza is a good candidate. Um, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, the AGL one, obviously, is also another good choice. But at the same time, I feel like he's too new, right? Like, he came out way after into UI Goku. Um, but then again, yo, like I said, anything is possible, so I don't know, maybe AGL Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta will also get that EZA treatment in part 3, or something like that. I don't even know anymore, man, like this game is crazy. Um, that's all I gotta say, man, that is today's video, I'ma go, <laughs> I'ma go to bed. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video, and if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.